we were called out by some people in Beck's Hill regarding a fox which appeared to be down a drain. They were very concerned because the young fox cub had managed to go through the pipe. The mum was still around, wandering around, and clearly she knew the fox cub was down the drain. Well, we're East Sussex Wildlife Rescue and Ambulance Service. We're a community uh, charity. We're there to deal with anything that occurs in our local area. When we arrived, there was a small inspection chamber and we removed the lid of that chamber. It was big enough to get an arm down, but you couldn't really see what was down there. You couldn't see along the pipes very easily at all. We deal with roughly anything from sort of 15 to 30 fox cubs a year. This was quite an unusual one to actually have it underground in a pipe. We knew looking at the weather forecast that there was rain coming that evening and overnight. The problem we've got then is the potential for the pipe to flood and that would have caused the cub to drown. You don't want to let the animal die and you know that if you give up there's a high chance that animal is going to die. So when you're out there you, you have to be focused, you have to stay professional. We literally just had to lie there with our arm and hand down the inspection chamber and just had to wait for the fox cub to come to us. Eventually the little fox cub just backed up towards me and I managed to grab hold of his tail um, so he couldn't get away and then up and out into the fresh air, which was fantastic to do and we never thought we were going to be able to do that. There were no injuries at all, luckily. She was quite dirty, quite wet, quite cold. Luckily, no damage to us, no damage to the cub. And so it was a very, very quick turnaround with getting her dried um, and getting her back out to mum. Once we actually got the cub out, we brought him back to our rescue centre. So we had to check him. And then once he was okay, we took him straight back again. We literally just put the carrier, the pet carrier, on the ground and opened the top. He decides to try and jump out of the carrier. Eventually he manages to pull himself up and out. Mum can then grab him and put him down on the floor and the two then just trotted off. But there's nothing better when you're doing wildlife rescue to reunite a youngster with its mum, you know. It's, it's a perfect ending to, a, to a, an amazing rescue. The one thing that I really want people to take away is the fact that your local wildlife rescue needs your support. It needs you to support them. Mm -hmm.